Real Buzz TV. Fun night, LVCS, Insomnium. How are you guys doing tonight? We are doing really, really well, really good. We just went off to the strip and go to the roller coasters and had a few drinks here and there. and Just uh, enjoy this incredibly hot weather. It's, it's really, really, really hard for a Finn. Finn, you actually tried to call on this weather, but yeah, it's good. Well, you know, you caught us on a cool day because anyone that's uh, from this town, it'll get to be maybe 115. So, uh, wasn't that bad? Did you hit the zip line out in front? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Well, we your... Yeah, we used to show it, so people flying there, it looked really cool, but we went to KD Cab and went to the strip, so. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So, let's talk about this the band, the album, the CD. Let's get into this. Tell me about it and. How much fun we're having with it? And yeah, well, well, the latest album, uh, Shadow of the Dying Sun, has been out for like one and a half year almost now, and we've been touring really extensively uh, with that album. And uh, yeah, we are really, really, really happy the way it came out. It was like a really hard process, process for us. We only had like two rehearsals for it, and so it's, everything was done basically by internet and like writing emails to each other and that kind of stuff. And and it really is, once again, it's like a next step in the line of Insomnium albums, in a way. So it's, we have been really, really happy with it. You know, but that's also a really good thing, because it's something we've talked about, is the way technology is, and how yeah. you could deal with musicians in other parts of the world, or your country, or, or, or places where you can't get together. And we've done some stuff where there actually are so, some apps now that are pretty cool where you could actually record parts. But I like that you guys are doing that too, and able yeah. to work on stuff when you're not able to be in, in a room together. Yeah, exactly. That's the only way to actually for us to do it, because uh, uh, three of us lives in Finland, and uh, Ville lives in UK, so it's completely impossible to actually get together more than like a few times a year. So. That's the only way for us to do it. Great. You know what? And we'll turn you on to that app we talk to you later. You're all over the place. America now. How yeah. far are you along in this tour? Where are you going next? Uh, we are going to Mesa, Mesa, Arizona, I think, tomorrow. And we were in San, San Diego yesterday. So, And then we are going to work, work our way back up northeast, basically, and all the way to Quebec and, Quebec and uh, Ottawa. So. Oh, great, so you'll be up in Canada. We have some friends up in Canada. We'll make sure, you know, they'll see this. They'll know when you're coming. Yeah. We, you also have some other friends of ours on, on the bill, uh, Omnium. Yeah, Omnium Gatherum, yeah. They are really, really, really the greatest band for this complete package. It's been, I feel it's one of the strongest tour, tour packages we've done, we've ever done, basically. So they are really, really, really are perfect fit for this whole tour, and they are such an amazing guys. They really, really are. We caught up with them last year. Oh, yeah, good. Yeah, so that's how we know them. Now, America, how's the country treating you? You know, we getting a lot of people at the shows? Uh... Yeah, the turnout has been really, really good, and uh, the, American, the American crowd seems to be really, really intense and really into it, so we really, really, really love playing here. Well, we expect a lot tonight. It's Saturday, so we know the room's going to be packed. Yeah, hopefully, yes. Hopefully, yes. What do you have in store for us tonight? Well, uh, actually, we are playing one song from every album we've made, so it's like it's really like cutting through of different time songs. There's like a lot of, lot of like uh, songs we've we haven't played in ages. So this will be really really good thing for the for the hardcore fans. So basically, if you're an Insomnium fan and you didn't make it tonight, oh, you missed out. Yes, exactly. <laughs> How long has it been since you guys hit the states? Uh, we flew, flew to New York, was it like 8th, 8th of August or something like no, that? No, I mean the last time you were, you uh, were no, in the oh, United yeah, States. Yeah, yeah, last time we were in February, uh, January with DT, Dark from Gilead. Okay. So we toured, toured uh, basically, well, almost the same, same places, places then, but, uh, well, it was winter time, so it was awful compared to the summer time in here, so. Unless you're here, because winter, it's not too bad in Vegas. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I believe the weather gets different things, so <laughs> that's for sure. Now, the differences I've noticed, and it's happened through the years, it seems like the crowds in Europe, the festivals are bigger, the kids are just a lot crazier and more intense. Am I right with that versus the U.S.? I mean, it was like that in the 80s and maybe a little in the 90s. Now, you don't see big, you know, arena shows or stadium shows 
and Europe, there's stadium shows everywhere. Well, yeah, I think the crowd-wise, uh, I think the fans are just as crazy as in here as they are in Europe. So basically, and uh, when when I look at our uh, turnouts in the in the Europe, Europe basically, it's n there isn't that we would be like drawing majorly bigger crowds in Europe than in here. So it's it's almost the same same thing. And uh, I feel that the, the fans are more intense in here. Really, yeah. that's nice to hear. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. You know, because I see a lot of stuff. We have friends playing in Europe, and it's like, wow, that was just a huge festival. Then you come back here. And it's really hard to get those big number, huge shows. It seems like yeah, yeah, well, yeah, that is true. Yeah, yeah. For for the bigger bands, of course, uh, the Europe is really, really amazing place to play. And we are trying to get there, so we are not just there yet to draw those multi-thousand uh, capacity venues. But well, it's although. soon because the music's definitely there. You know, we love it. They love it. Well, there's no hopefully. <laughs> well, we know it's good. Uh, of course, we wouldn't want to talk to you. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's a good sign. Now, here's something really important. Anyone in the band, or does the band itself, has any sponsorships? You want to give some love to anyone that's given love to you and make sure that they know about them. Well, uh, our guitar player, Marcus Van is endorsed by Jackson and uh, Eve, Eve, Eddie Van Halen uh, amps at the moment, oh, and okay. I'm endorsed by Sabian Symbols and... Balbex drumsticks, awesome stuff, by the way. And uh, I think Will is endorsed by Caparison guitars also and mayonnaise and that stuff. So Very nice, and it's nice to make sure that everyone knows the people that are taking yeah. care of you. Yeah, exactly. Now, here's another big thing. To get the music, we're pretty sure we could find it on all the normal spots, iTunes, CD, baby. Yeah. But the band's website, that's the most important place to go to find the band, correct? Yeah, it is, it is. And uh, from our webpage, you can find the links to our web shop. So you can find all the merchandise and all the, all the, all the special items from there. So now what is that? Is that a dot .com or is it going to be something different? Uh, or is it a dot .fn? I think it's Insomnium. Okay. You know what? I, I, we I, I, we I, I, know. You know yeah, what? We'll know what it is. There'll be a link right down here. So if you're watching this yeah. from the iPhone or Android app, go over to the Buzz TV website. There'll be the Facebook links. There'll be links to their website. Definitely yeah. to pick up the music. Yes, exactly. Now to end this thing, the most important question: What might we have left out about the band that they need to know? Well, if you are into like uh, even remotely melodic stuff, you would. Definitely have to check us out. Definitely, we are just bringing this melancholy, melancholy back in the melodic death metal. Very nice. And you know what? You know about them, then you know what you're going to see. If you don't know, all I could say is hold on tight because it's going to be a fun ride coming up. Exactly. But for myself, for Marcos, for Insomnium, I see them back there too. Buzz TV and the LVCS, watch out, guys. It's coming really, really soon. See ya. See ya.
I'm picking up the pieces of my shattered past and now I'm dying without you. My hands are starting to bleed. I don't know if I'll last cause now I'm dying without you. I'm picking up the pieces of my shattered past. I don't know.